How are we doing, everybody? Uh, so I'm going to be talking about Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, so I went to see that and Nutcracker on Thursday. And uh, so here's the thing with that. So I saw Nutcracker first, and that was at 6 p.m. And I nodded off during that thing because that movie was so bad. <laughs> and I was like, maybe I'm just tired, blah, blah, blah. I, am I going to be able to sit through another film? But I was completely engaged with Bohemian Rhapsody. I wasn't bored at all. I wasn't um, uh, I wasn't tired at all. I wasn't yawning. None of it. I wasn't very engaged with that film. And that goes to show you, you know, we have a famous, we have a very fantasy film where they could do anything in the world with the effects and everything else that Disney could do. And here we have a true life adaptation um, of a person's life or a band's life in this case, and one is engaging and one isn't. And there, and of course, Bohemian Rhapsody was very, very specific about what they can do. And then, of course, we had a film that they could do anything in all the world, and one was boring and one wasn't. Figure that out. So anyway, the film, Bohemian Rhapsody, was, you know, I. I wouldn't say I grew up with Queen, but uh, you know, Queen was uh, was a major thing happening or a major uh, group um, during you know my growing up period. I, I wouldn't say I was very into it, but of course I knew their songs, and you know they were coming up. Uh, I think from you know 1975 on. Of course, I can't really do any spoilers with this because it's it's true life. So. Um, so it's a matter of history, but, uh, I want to compare, first of all, this was directed by Brian Singer, uh, who of course is known for usual suspects and the X-Men extravaganza from Fox, uh, even up to the point of the gifted on television and Legion, etc. He's executive producing all that stuff. So he's, he's basically the X-Men. He, he leapt into this real life, uh, story uh, with Freddie Mercury and uh, Rami Malek, who, you know, has done little parts throughout his career, but he really blew up with Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot's really, really what um, what brought him to the forefront. And he just absolutely shines in this film. He embraces this, this character um, and really does justice, I think, to Freddie Mercury. So I want to compare this to Star is Born also, because obviously they came out pretty much back to back. And again, Star is Born was a remake, but it was also a fictional piece. And here was my problem with uh, Star is Born. Okay, so Star is Born, this is my facial expressions during throughout the beats of Star is Born. All right, so there was never an upswing to that film, okay? So it went like this down, like this. And and that's because, now, if anybody saw the film, tell me that they weren't completely pissed off with uh, uh, Bradley Cooper's character by the end of that film. Of course you were. You walked out of that film going, what an ass. And I can't... I can't just, I've worked so hard to try to get a break, so I can't ever, whenever I see a character, even if it's a fictional character, take a take their break and excel and then be self-destructive with it. That totally pisses me off. <laughs> they have all the money in the world, they have all of the success, they have all this love uh, for their for their talent and for their product, whatever it may be, in this case music, and they just throw it all away with drugs, alcohol, or whatever that may be, whatever addiction that they have. So I walked out of Star is Born feeling unfulfilled because of that. However, with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, that did not happen. So where I was like this by the end of Star is Born, 
Uh, I did, of course, you, with any kind of drama, you're going to have, uh, oh, you're really doing that? Uh, but at the end, the characters were redeemed, okay? All of them were redeemed. And, uh, and we end the film with Live Aid. I want to give the audience a song that they can perform. What the lyric? Ready, Freddy? Let's do it. You need to slow down, Fred. All of the characters had input into the music. They were a family. And we were invested in that family as an audience. And like I said in the Nutcracker one, uh, the Nutcracker theater was empty on Thursday night. And Bohemian Rhapsody was full. So I really think this film is going to do really well. It deserves to do well uh, because it's told very well. It's acted very well. And we're engaged with the characters throughout, even though we know exactly what's going to happen. All right, we, when it goes, comes to a true life uh, situation or a true life storyline, we know exactly what's going to happen. But yet we are engaged uh, with what's going on. Uh, and the music is, of course, great. And they go into a whole thing about how the how he created or how the, the group created Bohemian Rhapsody and some of the other uh, huge hits that Queen did throughout the years. And I was very interested in that because, of course, we as uh, as listeners or audience members, we never really know exactly how these things came into being, um, and and the trials and tribulations that go into it. But uh, but they show it in this case, and it was very interesting. Anyway, I really highly recommend this film. Um, if you like true-to-life stories, and if you like Queen, uh, and if you like movies about music, this has it all, and um, and Malik does, does a knock-out-of-the-park job. And all the actors look like one another, and uh, look like their their subjects, and I, I, just, I just dug the whole movie. So... Um, as this is an eight for me. Um, again, I walked out of there very elated and uh, teary eyed and all this stuff. And it was, um, it definitely has the highs and the lows of emotion, which that's why you go to the movies <laughs> to feel. And, uh, and this had it. So anyway, recommend it, go see it. Um, and, uh, they do a thing in the beginning too, like, you know, thank you for coming to the movies. You're what's paying you know, the bills for these movies and keeping us creating. And I always love when I see that. Uh, they did that with uh, Hugh Jackman's film, The, uh, the Greatest Showman also. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, have a great weekend and subscribe. And uh, thank you again for watching. All right. Have a great weekend.